Welcome to Dhamma on Fire right here on High TV, your luxury channel. We are checking out Isso. If you have only been to the Colombo one, this is in uh, Bataramulla. <laughs> and it's such a cool place. Uh, there is also an AC area for you if you want to just chill. With me, I have someone who is known as the. How can I say this? She makes love to cake. Oh and my we gosh. eventually get the best cake in town. We have hash. I'm, I'm glad you thought hard and hard about <laughs> it and came up with that description. Yeah. What's your full name? Oh my gosh, I told you I'm not going to tell you No, that. what's your full name? I just want to know. Um, I'm just Hash. But is, that must be an extension to a name, right? Yeah, so it's Hashini, uh -huh. right? Yeah, but everybody um, who's known me a long time, they call me Hash. Hash. Yeah, but everybody on brand call me Hash. Hash. Yeah. But at the same time, you also have five middle names. Uh -huh. uh, so I know the five middle names. No, yeah. no, you don't. No, do. you don't. You dare. No. I know. Um, <coughs> it's Hashimi oh Kalyani. <laughs> no, no. I'm not gonna. You're not gonna make me. Divya you know, uh -huh. Priyadarshini. No, 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 no. That's that's not. There's true. one more. I will. I'll remember it and I'll tell uh -huh. you. Anyway, so uh, Divya. So how did you get <laughs> in? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I just called you by the middle. <laughs> So no, tell me about this brand, um, yeah. Hatch. You have created a brand for yourself yeah. in terms of creating amazing cakes. But yeah. there was a time when you started an outlet. Uh, yeah. But I think may, having a cloud kitchen makes more sense. Yeah. Um, so it does, especially with my my line of work, right? Mm. So I came up with this concept where I would create a dessert mm. completely customized to that person. Now say. If you wanted to get something made for someone else, mm. I would ask you a thousand questions. I would ask like, what kind of fruits, textures, flavors, candy bars that you generally go go for. Okay. Right. Making it super personalized, super not only personal. the icing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not just how, it, I'm more concerned about how it tastes, right? Not the look. Not the look. Yeah. So with this concept, it's really difficult to have an outlet because I don't have cakes that look the standard way. Where ten cakes will look the same. I, I don't have that, so this gives me the creative freedom to do what I want and also give a lot of attention to my clients. Yeah, yeah. but so you initially started off in advertising. Yeah. Then you also juggled a little bit of TV on the side. That's I where think. I first met her. We used to do Good Morning Sri Lanka together. Uh, funny story. Once when she and I were oh on no. set, um, I think uh, my light that was in front of me. Burnt. Yeah, just like, a yeah, and it was burning while the show was on. <laughs> so now they were trying to fix it while we were going live, and she was reading the business section of the newspaper. <laughs> she read every part of the newspaper, <laughs> and she's like, "Oh, in more headlines, <laughs> there is nothing." <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> no, I but think, you read I the whole newspaper. I had to yeah, because, because the camera couldn't focus <laughs> on you, <laughs> and they couldn't cut to a wide. They couldn't yeah. cut to anything. They couldn't even go to a commercial break because yeah. the whole unit was inside. Of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. I can see her <laughs> sweating through reading. She because first read the headline, then I, she's like, "I was running out of content." I was, because and you didn't get yeah. the full paper. You just got that spo the business section only, so you were yeah. more stuck. So I was like, "Okay, now do I start reading the sports <laughs> section?" <laughs> and she has read not only the headlines; she has read the whole news. Yeah. She has thanked I, the editor. I think I summarized. <laughs> <laughs> Other things as well. So you know, this 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 happened in Sri Lanka, yeah. <laughs> and then you know people thought about it. Like <laughs> so, so we have also that was painful. we have also shared screen time. Yeah. But then you left all of that and yeah. took up this. So did so, you have it in your DNA or you learned I it? I think I always had it in my DNA. Because, I've never tasted uh, it at that time. So the thing is, is right now my idea of baking was what my mom taught me. Right. Where you start. Creaming the butter with a spoon in the morning. By evening, you're so, you know you're about to die, and you're still creaming the butter <laughs> until the sugar evaporates, right? So I thought every cake would take a whole, whole day, day. <laughs> because that's all I had been exposed yeah. to. Which year were you born in? Because 82. if your mother was <laughs> <laughs> so took a whole day, I did. 80s kid, no? So I'm. I you all didn't have a beater. No, I didn't. Even know. in Jaffna, I had a beater. <laughs> she should have had a beater. I, <laughs> No, I didn't want to. Why didn't she have a beater? You you sound like the twenties child. Yeah, no, I think she wanted to make it like very pure and right. Okay, okay. I don't know. I had to do the mixing <laughs> as well. So I I loved baking, but it was just like once a year, maybe yeah. once in six months because 
the whole day, right? <laughs> so then um, I was in advertising as well, and they sent me on an assignment to Cambodia, right? right. And I lived with these three amazing American girls. One of them was always baking. Right. Well, she was making a certain type of brownie. Right. Okay. Which made you? No, I didn't. I didn't. Ah. I didn't have that. Right. But uh, one day, she pulled me in, got me to make a banana bread with her. Which was also spiked. No, no, <laughs> no regular banana bread. But then it was so fast and quick, and I didn't realize it's it's not that daunting, right? Mm. So I came back from my assignment, and I quit my job. I was not planning to get into baking at all. I this this was not a plan. Mm. And uh, I you they sent you to Cambodia. You came back and quit the job. I, How yeah. ungrateful! <laughs> Uh, so then, um, my uh, fiance at uh -huh. that time, he bought me an oven. I said, I want a big oven. Uh. He said, What are you going to do? You are going to bake once a year. Uh. Why do you need such a big oven? I said, No, I just need a big oven. How did your mum bake the cake? So, no, she had oven. Oh, she, had <laughs> she, <laughs> she didn't have mixer. <laughs> yeah, and I'm wondering, why didn't she have a mixer? Yeah. So then, um, I started baking for, for me, mm. for fun. And I just kept baking and baking and I gave baking. it to my friends and the next thing you know I was in a business. I, it was never in the plan. Amazing. Yeah. We're going to come back and speak more about her journey in life. We'll see you right after this. Do stick around. This is Done On Fire. And we're speaking to Hashini uh, Karunavanti. Can you still Until call Until you tell me the five names. Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. I think only my some of my school friends know my name. But you have Karunavati in my it, no? My kids don't know my name, like my full name. But you have Karunavati inside, no? No, I don't. <laughs> they told me that one of your names are Karunavati. No, I don't have that. I have, okay, I'll give you one. Okay, my okay. third name is Ru. Good, that's nice. Yeah, that's why I just R U E. Just R U actually, but I, I write it as e. R U E because it you know, looks yeah. kind of fancier. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, now I have to ask you, you're a single mom now. Yeah. Uh, was it a hard decision? Um, it's always a hard decision. I don't think any mom out there makes that decision lightly because um, you're breaking up a family. Yeah. But uh, the good thing is um, the. I'm very grateful for the, you know, because I married a really good person. So up to date, he's my biggest support system. He's my greatest friend. So because of that, it's been okay. Kids are managing well. I'm managing well. We are all happy with that decision. Mm. We've, um, in that sense, it wasn't a hard decision. In this because sense. I feel like as two adults, yeah. when you all can't find the union that sort of keeps the connection going. Yeah, yeah. It's also unfair to stay in it and suffer. So that's the thing, right? Because, you know, we get into any union mm. to be happy. Correct. Yeah. For whatever reason, if we can't find that, then why are we prolonging it for the sake of it? And wrong reasons. For the wrong reasons. So I, I come from a broken home. Mm. So I know that sometimes parents staying together is more detrimental yeah. for kids mm. than actually walking away. You know, so I wanted my kids to see me and my spouse actually pursuing happiness. And also, yeah. Yeah. And yet, you all are happy in front of them. You all, you yeah. all have so much of great chemistry. Exactly. Even now, if mm. something amazing happens with work, yeah, he's one of the first people I call. Mm. You know, he's like, oh, guess what happened? This happened because he he has always been there for me. And you have yeah. shared something so deep, so obviously. 
and he's he's been the backbone of everything I do. Mm. He's the one who got me my first oven. oven. He's like when work got really tough, he's come and fed me lunch. Mm. So while I'm baking, he's there feeding me lunch. So we we had like a, a like an amazing friendship. Mm. So just because we've redefined ourselves doesn't mean we are not a family. So that is amazing. Yeah. You know um, this cake trend mm -hmm. came very recently. There, there yeah. was never this craze for you know you have to serve up the nicest cake or the cake needs to look yeah. cool. Back in the days, they just wanted like Donald Duck to sit on it and Daffy Duck to sit on it. And when oh you cut gosh, into yes. the cake, it's like a it's dull terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah. right? And you're like drinking water to eat yeah. the cake. And <laughs> the, it, it's one of those. I think uh, they must have used a mixer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they have used a mixer. So, um, but things have changed now. People yeah. are looking into this whole nude cake. They yeah. want it very realistic. They want the cake to be delicious and they not wanted, like yeah. wedding cakes those days where it's just a showpiece and the bride and the groom are cutting yeah. some bunnies in the corner. They're actually cutting the real cake and it's yeah. brought to the buffet. So we, when we, did this culture yeah. sort of change? I think it um, maybe 15 years ago when I started. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, actually it, it has been changing. People are, you know, they want quality, yeah. not just the aesthetics anymore. You know, now they finally realize that cake is for cutting not to have just as a showpiece, right? So the other day also we had, um, we did this beautiful red velvet wedding cake mm. in Valley Gama and the bride texted me the next day and said the cake was delicious, everybody right. loved it and people had asked her about a week before to say so are you excited about uh, getting married? Uh, she has said, I'm more excited about the, the cake. cake. <laughs> so <laughs> because I, I think that. people I are that. sick of decorating yeah. the rigid form now. Yeah, because yeah. You're, I mean, you might as well have it in porcelain. Yeah, that's because true. Because you're not gonna cut it, yeah. and you can keep it forever. What's right? the point? What's the point? Because you know why? I mean, it's dec you already have the flowers and everything for decoration. I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's beautiful to have a wedding cake like that, but at least some of it should be edible, edible and you should be able to enjoy it. And a lot of brides are keeping a piece frozen for you know for them to have later. When? I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> How long can a cake be in a freezer? I don't, uh, well, if it's frozen well and covered well, you can keep it for about, I guess, uh, three months at least. Ah, that's all. With our weather, our power cuts, uh, uh, it's that about is three true, months. That is true. But uh, <laughs> suffering through a, today also. So I had a power. abroad, they sometimes keep like the top of the cake for about a good year, so that they can have it at their first year anniversary. Oh wow! I would not recommend Talk about that. stingy. <laughs> yeah, no, not. Not, yeah. in, not with our weather. That is true. But now when people make cakes nowadays, yeah. uh, what's the biggest cake you have actually sat down to make? How many tiers? Um, I have, um, I think about 15 kilos or more. Yeah, about 15. So they were wedding cakes, always wedding cakes, right? Yeah. So I, uh, and I give brides more than they ask for. If right. I charge for 12 kilos, I would always give it, give them about, you know, three or four kilos more. More, just because in case. I also want it to look amazing. That is true. Yeah. Because end of the day, it's your name that's going to get yourself Yes. There. And that sense of pride, you know, I made that and it looks perfect. Mm. You know, I, I need that for me. That's amazing. Now talking about all this cake has made me mm. uh, just wanting to eat her cake. So here's the best part. She brought a little cake for me, one of her signature cakes. We're going to come back on the other side and have it. But right now, we need to say a big thank you to our friends at I ISO. Yeah. I was, uh, I said there, thanks at yeah. the start. Yeah, but I couldn't see that far. This, this. Anyway, I just wanted to say, you know, ISO is such a cool place. I really like the fact that look at this local brand making yeah, waves. Yeah. They made a prawn look sexy. They have. I and know. all kinds of ways. Yeah, that's that's, that's a prawn burger. It's that, delicious. That looks amazing. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Anyway, eat it. Uh, we're going to. This is a prawn biryani. <laughs> we're going to take a break. We'll see you on the other side because I am melting. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show. This is my favorite part. We get to eat dessert. And this is what she has brought. And also our friends at ISO has given us their signature biscuit pudding. And also the what will happen. What will happen? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so I want to 
I have been given this responsibility ta, of ta, ta, cutting. Ta. If you are wondering what is this white stain, it's because oh I had gosh. to like not keep my hands to myself. All right, ready? Everyone sing together. What are we singing? Happy Whatever. Birthday. Sing. Is it your birthday? Yeah. Just sing. It's my birthday every day. Thank you. Charit Singh. This is your signature cake, is it? Yes. So this is the one, you know, oh. that goes every week at least several really? times. Yeah. For a day, how many cakes have you um, baked? One day I baked 40 cakes. How do you manage during power cuts? No, so you have to manage your time, right? No, I didn't make the 40 cakes like during power cuts, right? But um, so that's the maximum I've done in a day. Are you even listening to me? I'm sorry, I got lost <laughs> in this. Okay, and then what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the question? Yeah, you, had, you, uh, that you didn't do it during the power cut time. Yeah, so during the power cut time, you know, we would adjust our schedule accordingly. Mm. I mean, we had no choice. Okay. Now, um, today cakes have found this new trend. You have vegan, you have yeah. gluten-free, yeah. then you have... That's all, no? Choc no, you have uh, vegan, gluten free, you have keto, eggless. How do you do all free. of those? So, the reason I started. Do I need to serve your pace because it's no, your cake? No, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Yeah. Uh, no, so the reason I started doing vegan cakes, especially, is because one of my best friends was a vegan. We, are you again? I don't think you're listening to me at all. <laughs> your so, best friend is vegan. Yes, mm -hmm. you just replayed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, Whenever we went out for lunches, mm. she'd have nothing to eat in terms of dessert. And this is a person who loved dessert, right? Why did you become a vegan? You know, because oh. I mean, she, she chose to become a vegan, right? Um, so that's why I started making vegan desserts. And I wanted them to taste as good as regular cake. I mean, yeah. if you tried my vegan cake, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. You can send me one over, I'll try it and let you know. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so no, the reason now today also, there's a lady celebrating her birthday mm. and she wanted one that's vegan and made with organic coconut milk, organic uh, oils and all that. So at first I said, it's a little difficult, right? Mm. But then I said, okay, because I realized if I don't make a cake, she has no birthday cake. Correct. And everyone should have a birthday cake and everyone should have a cake that they enjoy for their birthday. So, so you go so personal in terms yeah. of providing a cake for of a person. Course. Because it is, it, it is, very it is the highlight of the day, no? Yes. Yeah. I mean, the, in, a, in any birthday, the highlight of it is when you're cutting the cake. That is true. Yeah? That is true. Everybody gathers around mm. and that's that moment that brings everyone together. So, same with the wedding cake. Yeah. Tell me one of the biggest blunders that have happened while you make your cakes. Um, well, one time I dropped a mini. Huh? Like, I was, it was, we were very rushed. And, and this mini is your baby, no? You created mini this Mini is my baby, right? So, and it was very, like, it's very soft, spongy cake. It kind of crashed between the fridge door oh. and a rack because I kind of miscalculated the distance. It went into smithereens. Are you but luckily we had an extra. We always have extra. Right. Yeah, just in case of... And you also have dogs. No, I have one dog. She, yeah. she doesn't get to be anywhere near my baking area. Are you? But when the cake got no. slithered? Nothing, nothing. My dog, my, my animals don't get to be near the... No, cake. your full hygiene center. Yes. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. But you know... Uh, now that you made a business out of it, yeah, is it hard to run a business? Like, what's your team like? You know, especially whatever happens, their salaries must go. Yeah, so I'm always aware of the fact that you know, so many people you know depend on me also. Mm. So I generally don't take a break when I'm working. I take as much as I can handle it mm. without dropping the quality. So I have um, an assistant, amazing assistant called Sharon. She make sure um, like you know I'm, I can be a diva sometimes I'm like I get you know overwhelmed. Sometimes it's a bit of an understatement. Oh, sh uh, so she makes sure like everything's done mm. she talks to the clients she gets you know she says she gives me a cheat sheet she's like these are the cakes that we have to do on such and such date so I can't do without her and then you know my friends my family everyone rallies around my work and they support me in anything I do. Like when I, I sometimes I tell my daughter, darling, I'm sorry, I'm not spending so much time with you when I'm working. And she tells me, no, mama, you're working, you have to work. Mm. So don't it makes apologize. It so much more nicer. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, I'm really proud to see where you are today. Thank you. You've made a brand out of something that you love the most. Yes. And your, what, what you serve is meant to make somebody happy. So, I want adults to be excited about mm. cake, the same maybe we as kids. Kids, of course. Yeah, but my, my flavours aren't kiddish though. Yeah, they are I very sophisticated. It, yes, yeah. very refined, very sophisticated. Even this, like somebody will say, yeah. oh my god, that's so chocolatey, but it's so balanced in terms of sweet. And yeah, it's I just, try to make my cakes as less sweet as possible. I know, it's an orgasm in my mouth. <laughs> I have never experienced it. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Mm. But there are cake wars <laughs> in yeah. Colombo. Yeah. Is the other? Oh, you're not a part of it? I am not a part of it. I don't part of, um, so How do you like how have you survived without I the the thing is this, right? I made a conscious decision not mm. to follow my competition. Right. Because I want my headspace very clear. I and don't follow any of them for the simple reason that I might accidentally even absorb their idea and I don't want and I don't want to do that mm. I, my headspace is very clear only person I'm trying to be better than is me yeah I challenge myself constantly I, I never rest on uh, I've you know accomplished this so mm. I'm done I'm never that person every weekend I need to create something new new but final question yes Make it good. How many cakes have you eaten out of yours? What do you mean? Like, have you indulged in your cake? No, so 99% of the cakes I make, I don't get to taste. I mean, people... Because otherwise you can't look like this. Not only asking. that, people would notice if there's a piece missing. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Not like that, but <laughs> bake one for you kind of a situation. I don't bake for me. I bake for my kids, I bake for my family, but I would eat scraps. I mean, there are times I would have to make tasters mm. and see what combinations go with that what. That is true. You know, yeah. when you are doing those, I'll be here to help you out in picking the there, right combination. Yeah, I, I did this so. recently as well. I was oh. working with uh, pistachio bases yeah. and coconut and raspberry and chocolate and I wanted, I couldn't figure this out in my head. Mm. Most of the things I can taste in my head, right. but this one I couldn't, so I had to properly make tasters and... You call me, actually <laughs> our, our whole team will be willing to come and support and you can so take the, generous. Yeah, we are very kind like that. On that note, I wish you all the very best. I Thank am literally so melting, something is not right with me right now because this cake has just created a bit of a heat in me. <laughs> All right. On that note, we're going to wrap things up. Thank you for Thank coming you. and being Thank a part of the show. Me here. Anytime. Lots of love. We will see you soon. Till then, you keep smiling and support local. Help someone who is doing their own thing because it's always good to promote our own people. Make a call, get an order because you'll never regret it. Because this cake, I'm just going to spit all over it so I can take the whole thing home. We'll see you soon. Take care. Keep smiling.